Okay, I just applied fresh Thermo Grizzly uh, Cryonut Thermo Paste onto the CPU. Um, I'm doing a little burning test. I blocked the fans with thick pieces of paper from like an advertisement that I got in the mail. And I'm running uh, Prime 95. The latest version, the 64-bit version. And all the CPUs are 100%. That's the thing right there. And the temperatures, since I started the test, looks like the highest was 68 Celsius. And that's for that Xeon chip right there. Um, I've been running it for about five minutes. Let me see. Does it say anywhere here how long it's been running? No. About five minutes. I just want to see what kind of uh, temperatures I'm going to get with the airflow block to the to the cooler, which is. Right here, shit. It's a little bit warm. It's a little bit warm. The fins. So with this having correct airflow, uh, it's going to be a lot better. But it's still at a hundred percent load. And still the highest is 68 Celsius. That's pretty fucking good. Now originally I thought this processor at full load um, runs at 2.8 gigahertz and that, that's incorrect. It looks like at full load it runs at 2.4 gigahertz. Um, but that that might be thermal load too. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I've heard of thermal load. So if um, if the processor gets enough cooling, it may uh, throw the, the frequency a little bit higher. I'm going to find that out later once I <clears throat> close up the computer and, and do some more testing. Uh, oh, by the way, let me see with my thermal gauge here. Hold on a second, where's my thermal gauge? I'll be right back. I'm gonna find my um, thermal gauge. I'm gonna see how hot it is in this room. Okay, so here's my thermal gauge. Let me put it back to Celsius. Okay, so let's see, as I vary the temperature in here, in this room, well, no, I shouldn't be doing the monitor, let's start over. So the walls... Right here by the computer, 25C. That was the hard drive, just went over. So it's about, whoops, let's say 27C. By the front of the computer, 26C. 26, 27C, okay. And the temperatures still the highest 68. 
and current temperatures are slightly lower 67 for uh, current temperature now let's see when I remove this cardboard what happens I mean this piece of paper let's see if how they're gonna start dropping already dropping um, Sixty, sixty-two. It's going out of the sixties. All right, one, two cores are still in the sixties. Uh, no more. Wait, one core still in the sixties. Core five. But that's going to drop. Okay, now I'm in the 50s at full load with the case open. Of course, with the case closed, it'd be a little bit of a difference. But this cooler kicks ass. Uh, not true at DH15. I believe that's what it's called. That's the biggest cooler not true makes. Alright, so let's look at this again. Still 100% load. And I'm way in the 50s now. One core is 51. 52, 54, 55. It's gonna it may even go lower than that so anyway that's uh, e52697 version 3 on my Asus uh, x992 deluxe 2 motherboard I got a testing video card in here now uh, Asus uh, 750 Ti uh, hold on one second I'm going to show you guys what my main video card is hold on and this is my main video card that's going to go in there um, 1070 um, regular 1070 but this is the Strix edition Asus uh, 1070 Strix let me see something here And this is the part number if you guys want to look it up. Come on, focus, dude. Hold on, let me get some light in here. Alright, is it going to help now? Oh, here we go. Alright, let's see without light now. It's better. Anyway, that's the model number. You guys can pause. So that's it. Um, oh, and since uh, since I did that, the temperature is hanging around low 50s. Oh, screen saver went out. So it's to low 50s to mid 50s. Excellent. Excellent for um, 145 watt CPU. Anyway, more videos to come with more testing. Talk to you guys later.